Welcome or welcome back on Watch Advisor on YouTube. It's Alexander speaking, your host. And in the picture, you do have the Blancpain Body Scuff Day Date Desert Edition, a watch limited to 500 pieces. And I am happy to be able to present you this Blancpain Novelty 2020. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell to get our latest notifications. If you do so, you have the chance to win the brand new iPhone 12 Pro. The happy winner will be announced in the community section tab January 2021. Good luck! This year, Blancpain presents a new version of the 50 Fathoms Batiscaf Day Date Watch. It's a 500 piece limited edition, as I just said before. And it's a diver's watch that has been inspired by a watch Blancpain made in the 1970s with its own innovative mindset. And it was a watch that has a cushion shaped case and an inner rotating ring. We do have a picture so you can see the watch how it looked like. And um, the new um, watch uh, 2020 edition 500 pieces limited is characterized by a gradient colored sandy beige dial featuring a sunburst pattern and the sunburst pattern is something you can see in the video pretty well i will do everything so you can really see that effect of the sunburst dial that looks really gorgeous i filmed under artificial light natural light and so you can really see the differences how this nice dial looks like. So let me jump into the details and give you some first information. It's a steel case, yes. And I will just take the watch and show it to you in the camera so we can both discover the new body scuff. So um, the case has a diameter of 43 millimeters, 43 millimeters. The case thickness is um, 14.25 millimeters, 14.25 millimeters. There you can see it, 14.25. To five millimeters and the famous lug to lug distance. So the distance from here to here, lug to lug, is 50 millimeters. The watch case or the steel case is waterproof up to 30 bars, 300 meters. Um, has a screw down crown, of course. What else would you expect? And um, also interesting for you, maybe if you are keen to change the strap. The distance in between the lug is 23 millimeters, 23 millimeters. I already mentioned the watch is limited to 500 pieces and that's, it's a special edition Blancpain is doing this year honoring a dive I will refer to just in a moment. But let me, before we uh, go into some historical details of the watch, uh, finish my little presentation about the watch itself, you have an indication of day date. That's also why the Baris Cuff is called uh, Baris Cuff Day Date. So you have Sunday 25th. You have uh, the hours, the minutes, and your running seconds. Everything um, is uh, done with lots of uh, super luminova as our shot in the dark shows. Uh, here it is. That's the dark shot. You can easily see everything having lots of super luminova and so readability at night is perfect night or darkness is really perfect so let's come back to the watch itself then we do have a steel basil with a ceramic inlay so it is um, a completely inlay done in ceramics and the um, Indexes on the, on the ceramic inlay of the basil are done out of liquid metals, the hour markers. Of course, the basil is only turning counterclockwise. And you can nicely also hear that sound. Yeah, there we go. And now I have to be careful to really... There we go. Zero. 120 clicks, counterclockwise turning basil, nice big crown, a huge crown even I would say, look, that's a huge crown, but feels comfortable when handling with gloves as I just do uh, whilst filming the watch for you, handling with gloves perfectly. 
what I will do next, I will prepare the watch and show you the date, um, how the date um, uh, function date are jumping and I will show you how this looks like. I will just prepare the watch and be back in a second. Now there's really something nice I can show you. I've been unscrewing the crown, um, putting it in the appropriate position. That's the first uh, position is winding. Second position, of course, is changing date and day. And the third position would be adjusting the hours. So what is funny now and really cool is normally when you have watches indicating the day and the date, what normally happens is uh, that in turning the crown on one direction, in one direction, you're able to change. In this case, I'm doing the day. So you can clearly see we're changing the day. But now the cool thing is just in case, for instance, you have to readjust the date because you forgot uh, to use the watch or we are in a month um, where you have to change the date and you do have to, you have to do some adjustments. Look what, happen what happens now. So if you advance, both the date and the day are ever advancing. And this is really something I have not seen very often. So um, you see, you always also, when turning, you have always also the day changing, not only the date, and this is very comfortable if you need to do some quick adjustments. Of course, it, if you want to readjust uh, the watch to the position as I was Sunday 25th and okay, let's assume we are on Tuesday 10th. Okay, what you do is first you have to go to the 25th. That's what I'm doing. So the day will always jump with us together. So there we go. And now by going back Saturday and Sunday and there you're back. But this is a very comfortable situation and I will stop the watch now. So. By coincidence, the second hand is exactly 12 o'clock. So we can look, or you can look, what happens if the date is changing at midnight. So I will advance. Day date change at midnight. Look carefully what happens. It's also pretty amazing. I was astonished when I saw it the first time. Now, please look carefully. Ah, do you see this? It takes a while, both uh, discs get in action and then at a certain point it's like instantaneous, they're jumping. That's nice, it really looks good because you don't have that effect that one disc is disappearing and come the other one is showing up already. It's really then jumping and that's a nice uh, thing to show. So now we are Monday 26th, I make the watch smile again. I start it again. You see there is also the second hand stops if you pull out the crown to adjust it correctly. And I will now screw down the crown. There we are. So, and I will turn the watch around to give you some nice views of the Blancpain movement. It is the 1315 DD for day date, 1315. 1315 DD. It is a 4 hertz movement, meaning that uh, the uh, balance wheel oscillates at uh, 4 hertz or 28,800 semi oscillation per hour. Um, there it is, the balance wheel. It is an automatic watch. You clearly see this. This is the automatic rotor. And if you now say, oh, it's not a gold rotor, it is a gold rotor. Look here. It was written 18 karat gold, 18 karat gold. So what Blancpain does to keep that very technical look of its movements, they are coloring, plating the uh, gold with a gray color to keep that cool technical look of their movements. But it is gold. It's not functioned on anything else. It is gold. So uh, what else? Uh, yeah, 120 hours, 120 hours of power reserve. The movement uh, consists of 281 components. Yes, silicon hairspring. Yep, we do have a silicon hairspring. And this is also why the watch has the 
uh, engraved on its case pattern the word anti-magnetic. This is to show that they use or uh, have been taking some precautions to protect the movement against magnetic fields and one of them is of course to use a silicon hairspring and is shown here anti-magnetic and this is also why the watch can have a see-through case pattern so you can really see the movement. That's how the movement looks from the other side. Covered but you can clearly see that stitching from the backside, that's uh, caoutchouc stitching on it. Kuzuma means handmade. There you go. You have the nice uh, Blampa logo here. You see it. This material, nicely looking. Yes, there we go. And we come to a pin buckle. I am a huge fan of pin buckles. Comfortable, easy. I don't like folding clasps, but okay, that's me. Tastes are different. That's how it is. So there we go back and we see the escapement again. And uh, one thing also um, to show you right now is the engravement here. You can see that there is written proto number 10. Yes, I have to look closely. Is it 10? Yes, it is 10. <laughs> so, and this. Um, is still a prototype I'm having in my hands and this is also the proof that I have not been holding back any of my reviews about Blampa because you have been asking and for uh, Alexander what about the review of Blampa and I always said okay I will get the watches get the watch there they are yes but I only got them now and it's still a prototype so um, no cheating from my side of course um, I just only got them now I do wish also to tell you a little bit of a story around that watch with this particular dial and look. It is unbelievable how hot the sun blazes at seven o'clock in the morning in infamous Death Valley. We could already feel the hot sand under our feet as we set off to dive. That's what Ernest H. Brooks II said and he was referring to his dive. Um, in the Devil's Hole, an underwater chasm that plunges into the bowls of the earth on a depth of more than 120 meters before opening out into a gigantic underwater river. Devil's Hole is also unique in that it is the exclusive home of a seriously endangered species of fish Cyprinodom diabolis, of which Brooks took the first pictures. And the watch is the perfect watch. He could have worn, if he would have had it at the time being, <laughs> for this desert dive in the Death Valley. And I literally can feel the heat uh, because while everybody who has been to Death Valley knows how hot it is there. Also here I want to answer the question, is that watch, if I use it underwater, visible? Will the colors of the watch be visible underwater? Let me show you the chart once again. So at 5 meters, uh, red nearly disappears. 10 meters, orange is lost. 20 meters, yellow disappears. And now we can say, okay, this is something that's close to yellow and probably that will be a color that 
then at 20 meters will no longer be visible. 30 meters, the green goes, and only at 60 meters, blue light is starting to be absorbed. So uh, if you are watching this video and you have not seen the video about the Batiscaf chronograph with the green dial, the green dial would be visible to 30 meters and the desert edition of the Batiscaf day date would probably be visible until 20 and something meters, that color at least. So um, to finish my little presentation, I will give you um, some impressions of the watch of that sunburst dial um, whilst uh, we are also cutting in some pictures um, I took outside um, and of course the wrist shot. The body scuff on my wrist born in bright sun and you again see as I already mentioned in one of the other videos where I was wearing the chronograph with that blue sunburst style and you can again see another sunburst style in a light brown shade and you can see how this style really comes alive when it is worn or when the light is reflecting in it and you really see beautiful how it looks like it's really beautiful it's i think something you would want to play around for hours and hours seeing all the time more and more aspects of the dial how it looks like yeah my wrist 17 centimeters and you can see that's how the watch looks like with its strap the pin buckle uh, you can see that looks good um, a size i would wear yes even if my wrist is 17 centimeters only but i'm used to wear huge watches and i love them so i don't have a problem with it and um, there you can see but once again look how beautiful also if you are looking or watching this video please um, go and check out the video about the body scuff chrono with the green dial i was filming just before and uh, you will also see the effect of that sunburst style beautiful I'm turning around the camera so you can really see under different angles how that looks like it's gorgeous i have to say um, and the dial will depending on the color uh, depending on the light coming on it or falling on it always uh, represent or always reflect the light in a different way and you will always see your body scarf in a different way and this is simply amazing and there we go back uh, to the artificial light and the effects of that sunburst dial versus the sunburst dial shown in the sun and outside you can clearly see whilst i am speaking the differences but you always see that beautiful really really beautiful effect and i can promise you you will play around with the watch on your wrist for a long time until you have seen most of the effects the dial will offer you there you go left right more and more effects coming nice very nice so then let me say thank you very much for watching the video the watch sells for 11,470 euros 11,417 euros with a 16 percent of vat in the moment that's the reduced vat they have in germany to um stimulate the economy so 16 percent is the vat included at the price of 11,470 euros Euros limited to 500 pieces so a watch one could yeah think about collecting 500 are not too many and yep my recommendation is there very cool I like it it's a very particular color I have to say look that's that sunburst style how beautiful it is always delivering new colors new shades Thanks for watching this presentation. I'm happy to read your comments, answer your questions. Stay tuned. There's much more to come as always on Watch Advisor and YouTube. Bye bye for now and last view on the dial.